Today we're developing our lumps and bumps borders. The book says, three cubes on a bodice that is based on a block. Various looks can be created according to how you insert the design lines. If you want to follow along, you can download a bodice block in PDF or CLAW format or a CLAW 3D project file. See the Gumroad link in the video description. If you're interested in CLAW and 3D prototyping and want to learn more, I have a course for beginners on Udemy you might be interested in. You will find a link to the course in the video description. So let's get started. Welcome back. Today we're going to develop lumps and bumps bodice. This design is featured on the cover of the Pattern Magic book and it concludes the first part of the book as well. So let's look at the instructions. There are some instructions in the English version of the book that don't exist in Japanese one. So we'll use both of these references to build our bodice. So first of all, let's take a look at the darts. We see here that um, here the bust dart has been transferred into the waist. And here, the um, quite the opposite. The waist dart has been transferred into the arm side. Then we see there are three lines, one of them approximately at the um, bust level, maybe a centimeter higher. And these ones are kind of radial um, lines, which join corners of these cubes. Also, you see there's a cut here, cut there. And this one you can't see, but you can see it on this picture here. So you'll see how the um, cubes have been, have been connected with these cuts. The size of, your cube, of the cubes is up to you. Um, I've... I have experimented with a few sizes and come up with the four centimeters is probably the best one. However, it looks on some pictures, it looks like the uh, cubes are not actually cubes, but rather rectangles as they are not as high as they are um, wide. So it's up to you. I will show you how it's done and you can experiment yourself. So let's begin. We have our bodice here. You see that these darts have been closed and the symmetry has been removed. What I'll do first is draw this bust line. Then I would like to transfer this bust dart into the waist. I will extend this higher to meet it almost create little cutting line and then transfer then close the bus dot now this was this one is the opposite Here's the starting point. Let's take a look. Here we go. So first I would like to mark where that horizontal line is. So I think I will extend this further. Let's take a look. I 
I think we can lower it a bit to make it straightish. Yeah, it looks good. So after this, I'll be able to transfer this dart into this line. Let's see. That looks nice. Okay, so here's our first step done. Now let's talk about these cubes. So I will create the outlines of the cubes and then mark the location of them. For that, I will take the internal rectangle tool. I will create a four centimeter square cube, a square rather. And then I will, using the references, position these cubes. So let's see. The first cube is located somewhere near the neckline, like this. And it also is sort of, it looks like it's almost straight, like that. The next one is on diagonal, in a way, and it's touching the bust point with its corner. So let's position it here. And then you'll see this sort of raised up, like this corner is raised up about one centimeter above this bust level that we have drawn. So something like that, maybe. And third one, somewhere between the two, it's sort of almost parallel to the second one. Almost, but not quite. Sort of like that, and somewhere in between here, perhaps. And touches the center front by the looks of it as well. Like this. Right? All right, I think it looks okay. Let's now draw this connecting, the cutting lines. So the first one is joined to the neckline and to the arm side. Looks like straight lines to me, looking at the other images here. Even here, you'll see this cutting line going straight up and the other one is perpendicular to it. Okay. This cutting line is joining the corner to the arm side and they look parallel almost. So let's draw this one. Something like this. Then the middle cube is joined to this cube. And here we have to adjust the position because it looks like our shape here is a little bit too sharp. So like that, perhaps. Let's see. One and two. Next, these three lines. So it looks like they are approximately one and a half centimeters apart. And the first one is just above the bust line. So let's see what we can do is take our bust line here. Not that. And move it here, right? Because it looks like it's curved. So if I will curve it, This is what it will look like, and it looks like here. Next is two parallel ones. So one and two, approximately one and a half centimeters each. So let's do two offsets 
and each one and a half centimeters away like this and then we'll try and join them up in a nice and elegant way okay so these like rays this one will connect this angle here and this one will connect that one so i say i need to make them shorter and then we'll take our tool and do this sort of try and make it look elegant in a way All right, let's stop here. So here's our outline here. This is what the plan is. The next step in Clow would be to turn these outlines into holes. If you're doing this on paper, you can probably do it the same way as well. Cut out the holes and then build the sides of the squares to create the shapes. So let's convert these to holes. And this is why it's important that this almost touches the line, but doesn't quite, because it will be a cutting line afterwards here. And this will not allow it, so we have to move this just a tiny bit away from here. Okay, after this, we'll need to cut the borders along this cutting line. So I'll have to make sure that these lines connect I'll leave this here just a little bit away. All right, so let's join these points. And do it. Now I will give them different colors so we can see what we're doing. So you see that we are on the right path by the looks of it. The next thing to do will be to build our squares. So let's take a look at this here. We have to build enough sides to create this um, three dimensional shape. I will show you how easily it can be done in Clo. Let me pull this apart so we can see what we are doing. As you can see now, it's unrecognizable, but we can see it all here. We need to build three faces at this edge. So I will do it this way, offset pattern outline. So we remember that each of our squares was four centimeters. So it's four centimeters extent and number of extensions is three. One little thing, make sure each of them has internal line. Like that. Here it is. Then I'll take my fold tool and I will create the shape. After this, you see that this edge here has to be connected to this one. Let me switch this again to my green little shape. So this here will have to be merged to here. And don't forget internal line for folding. Okay, so here it is. Then it continues into here. So that means 
that we have to offset it again from this edge I will create three more and fold right this edge has been merged to this one let me place a little dot here so we can see it right here so not this let me move this further away but this let me merge this to this and create an internal line like this these are two shapes now we'll do the same thing starting at this edge right here like this and then fold And this edge will be fused or we'll see but first of all we we'll have to sew it on and see maybe it will need to be cut off so um, let me switch them back on so the yellow this one and we can separate this to this point and take a look so this purple bit is sewn to this red bit like this so let's just sew them in sew them on in the meantime okay so maybe it's time to take a look what's happening i would add body to this strengthen everything and then see all right some sewing here to be done but in general it looks pretty good let's see what we forgot to sew this is so has been sewn to this and then to this okay so we got these bits now we have to close them off so to close them off we have to create more faces but this time coming out from these edges here so i will hide my strength and color and bring the colors back let's see first one is this this edge has to connect to this so i will offset this again but this time only once go back to folding and open it up then this this part this and fold next is here this edge and this one edge like this then we have this one and this edge here as you can see in 3d you can work much more efficiently because you can see exactly where you have to add things and no guesswork is required so I have built all the faces and now I need to sew them in place 
you can imagine that if you were working with a normal 2D pattern, this would be slightly challenging to figure out what you have to sew to what. Lucky for us, we don't have to guess anything because here we can just take the tools. Let me switch off the model and do this one and two, one and two. These edges, let's check. I suggest you check after a couple of sews because sometimes sewing can be applied incorrectly and then you'll end up with a jumbled mess and you have to figure out what exactly you did wrong and how many steps back that happened. So check. Here we go. This is what we've just created. Let's switch off the colors and take a look. This is the pattern we ended up with. As you can see, it is quite challenging. The pattern is complicated and will require a lot of spatial skills to put together whether in 3d or in real life but result will be the same so here is the cube spotters as you can see here if you want you can make them less pronounced this is what i meant when i showed you this one because it looks like it's larger here but not as large there so you can easily decrease some of the faces by a um, couple centimeters i guess and you know experiment and see what works for you so i hope you enjoyed it thank you for joining me and i'll see you next time